when you don't chase after the narcissist? How do narcissists feel when you don't chase after them? How do they regret? Narcissists are terrified of being rejected or abandoned because they are terrified of being alone. They cannot survive on their own. They can't take care of themselves. So they naturally feel the urge to have someone chasing them and wanting them because it alleviates their fears and boosts their self-esteem, which reaffirms their self-perceived importance and desirability. They have a fragile ego because they were neglected or abused in their childhood. So now they have become egomaniacs where they are obsessively egotistical and self-centered and they have a desperate need to be in control at all times because they never want to go through what they went through in their childhood ever again. They never want to be rejected. They never want to feel unloved, which is why now they have to be on the other end of it. They have to orchestrate the situation so that you are the one who is chasing them so that they don't have to feel their feelings or connect to themselves. This is why they will triangulate you, ghost you, give you the silent treatment and even fake breaking up with you. To keep you endlessly run on their hamster wheel trying to please them, even though they can't be satisfied. But just because they love the feeling of someone begging and pleading them to come back. They love the feeling of someone begging them for another chance. Or when you apologize to them for something they did to you. Which is really crazy. It's extremely surprising and difficult to understand. But narcissists love it because when you're texting and calling them constantly, it makes them feel like they never did anything wrong. It tells them that what they did couldn't have been that bad because you're chasing after them. So why would you chase them if it was that bad? It helps them to deflect their shame. It absolves them of responsibility and it leaves them without any regrets because what they did to you caused them to feel a lot of shame which is why they love it when you chase them it tells them that what they did to you must not have been that bad because the way they see it is that if what they did to you was that bad you would be chasing after them You would be chasing after someone who did something so evil and unforgivable. You would be calling or texting them. You wouldn't want anything to do with them. So this is their thought process. This is what's going on inside their heads. This is what they tell themselves. Which is why you do need to be very careful when you're chasing after a narcissist when you take a narcissist back because they want you to chase them it makes them feel like they haven't done anything wrong but something else happens if you don't chase them and if you don't text or call them because they carefully orchestrate the situation in a way where they do expect you to reach out to them they're waiting for you to call. They're waiting for you to text them. Because they did something to you and they left you without any closure. So they know you're going to be seeking answers. Which is why they're already waiting for you to reach out to them. They're waiting for your reaction. They're constantly checking their phone. And when they see that you haven't contacted them, they're left feeling very confused because it's difficult for them to understand or explain. It's something they may never have encountered before. Because most of their victims probably fell into their trap. 
they fell for it hook, line and sinker. So when you have that one person who does the opposite of what everyone else has done, it really leaves an imprint. It makes an impact on their lives. Because it's not what they're used to. They're used to everyone falling at their feet. They're used to always getting what they want. They're already anticipating it. They expect it to happen because they're very arrogant and entitled. And when you have that one person out of a long list of other people before you who doesn't reach out to them, it angers, irritates and disappoints them. They become enraged and it makes them hate you because now they have to deal with their shame on their own. They don't have you there for them to blame all of their faults, mistakes and wrongdoings. They don't have you there to forgive them. If you were there, they would release their feelings of resentment and vengeance. They would purge themselves of these undesirable qualities, conditions and feelings. They would cleanse and rid themselves of impurities. But you're not forgiving them for what they did wrong. You're not relieving or absolving them from their guilt, obligation and punishment. You're not releasing them from blame. And they hate it because then they have to sit with the shame. And it's intensely painful for them. It makes them believe that they're flawed, inadequate and unworthy of love. It makes them feel like something is wrong with them, which is why they hate it when you go into contact. They even hate it when they have to pretend to break up with you. So they're just waiting that anticipating for this moment when you will reach out to them because it's just all about themselves they're not thinking about how badly they treated you or why you're not chasing after them they're expecting you to beg and plead for them to come home But even if you do that, it's just going to happen again. Which is why you're always winning when you hold on to your boundaries, because they want you to reach out to them. And if you don't, they may lose their minds, because they want to be chased, they want to be forgiven, they want you to clear them of blame or suspicion. They want you to prove them to be right, reasonable and justified. They want you to relieve them of their shame. Which is why when they're not getting that from you, they get really angry. Even though they may have been the ones who discarded you and all you did was go no contact. They will still reach out to you and they will be really mad. They will call you selfish. And they may even say that you're the narcissist. They will blame and shame you. They will say that they deserve better than you because they want you to forgive them. They want you to get over it so that you no longer see them in a negative light and so that they can avoid accountability. And this is why they never really discard you. The discard phase is an illusion because they always come back. They just use it to avoid accountability. So this is what happens when you keep chasing after them. Nothing gets better, nothing improves. 
and the relationship remains the same as it always was. To where it's lacking stability. It's not continuous or steady. Because they always want what they don't have. They're always looking for something else. They don't find any fulfillment in relationships. They only enjoy the pursuit. They only enjoy getting people to chase after them. And once you're chasing after them, there's no reason for them to keep chasing after you. So they invest their energy into pursuing someone else until they eventually replace you. Because they feel like they can come back to you whenever they want to. But when you don't chase after them, they will lose their minds. Because they want you to chase after them so that they can avoid accountability. If you don't chase after them, they're left to deal with the shame. And the shame takes over them. It makes them really angry. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.